the second video and what we're going to do is we're going to find this cosine, sine, and tangent for these angles. These are very important angles and just want to remind you what these are in degrees. Um, again, we did this in, the, in a different video, so I'm not going to review how we got that. You can look at the, one of the other videos, but pi over 6 radians is 30 degrees. Pi over 4, which is really useful to remember, um, is 45 degrees. Pi over 3 is 60, and pi over 2 is 90. And just notice that pi over 2 is 2 times pi over 4, so 90 is 2 times 45. So I use these multiples a lot to figure it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you these angles, and they're kind of important angles. They get used a lot. There's going to be a, a format of square roots, which you want to be ready for, for WebAssign. And I think, I remember I went back to school when I was in my late 20s and had to relearn trigonometry. And uh, I, one of the most valuable things I did was to do what I'm about to do. And that is to derive from almost scratch these, th these values of sine, cosine, and, and, and theta. It really cements the ideas. And so like I, someday when you're bored, if you can take a blank piece of paper and do what I'm doing here, you will have um, really mastered the material. And if this were a face-to-face -face class, I would probably have an in-class exam where you have to do exactly that. No notes, nothing like that, but do what I'm going to do right now. So I, I just think it's very important. It really helps these ideas make sense. Okay, so we're going to fill in this table. And I'm going to do these three first, and then I'm going to talk about 0 degrees and 90 degrees uh, at last. Okay. So I'm going to go back and forth between this chart and what I'm about to do. Okay, so here's, a, here's theta equals, sorry, here it is. Here's theta equals pi over 6. And remember that the cosine is going to be x sine the y value and the tangent y over x. Okay, and so we're drawing these inside the unit circle. I didn't complete the whole circle here. Here's the pi over 6 30 degree angle. And there's a fact about 30 degree angles which you need to know is that in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, when, when you have angles of 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees, that the short side is equal to one half the hypotenuse. So that's what I'm saying here. This is the short side. And the short side is opposite the 30 degrees. That's what I mean by the short side. Okay, so we can use that. That's the key to everything. So here's, I'm going to draw things again. We know the radius h is one. That means that this is the 30 degree side, the pi over 6 side. Opposite that, that's going to be 1 half, and that's going to be our unknown. So we need to solve for x. Once we get, complete the triangle, we've got everything figured out. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, we know that x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. We know that y is 1 half, so I have x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Well, x squared is equal to 1 minus 1 half squared. That's 1 minus 1 quarter, which is 3 quarters. x is going to be square root of 3 quarters, which is square root of the top, square root of the bottom. So you get square root of 3 over 2. So we've solved the triangle. Cosine is x, square root of 3 over 2. The, the, the sine is y. We saw y is 1 half. So that's 1 half. And then we get y over x is going to be the tangent. So it's going to be 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. We're going to invert and multiply. So that's going to be 2 over square root of 3. We get 1 over square root of 3. Here, I'm going to just make sure I keep that there. Now, that's not good enough for web assign. And so there's this old habit in math is that you need to take radicals out of the out of the, the bottom. I'm not a fan of it, but it's something that you need to learn how to do. So the way you do that is you multiply 1 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 over 3. So a version, fancy version of 1. We get square root of 3 squared on the bottom. 
that's going to be square root of 3. Um, I, made an, I made a mistake here. This is 1 half times square root. So that's going to be, no, that's right. Sorry, 1 out of square root. So that's going to be square root of 3 over 3. I did it right. Okay, so that's going to be our tangent. So sorry about that. Those are the values. This is the work. And I'm going to go back and fill that in on the chart. So we have cosine was equal to um, square root of 3 over 2, the sine 1 half, and the tangent we just saw was square root of 3 over 3. Now these, of course, have decimal equivalencies. And on an exam, you can hand it to me in decimals. But these are what WebAssign recognizes. So I want to make sure we know them. OK. So for the next one, we want to find out the sine and cosine of pi over 4, which is 45 degree. Oh, sorry. There we go. So theta is pi over 4, or 45 degrees. Now notice that a 45 degree angle, let's draw this here. This is an isosceles triangle. So that means that the sides opposite those angles are the same. So again, this is going to be y over x, but x is the same as y. Okay, that's key. And again, what we're going to fill in, cosine pi over 4 is going to be x. The sine of pi over 4 is going to be y. And the tangent of pi over 4 is going to be y over x. We need to figure this out. Okay, so first, that's the key, and we're going to plug that into the unit circle and solve for x. So we get x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. x is equal to y, so that's going to be x squared plus x squared is equal to 1. That's 2x squared equal 1. Divide both sides by 2. x squared equals 1 half. We take the square root. x is equal to 1 over square root of 2. That's going to be the square root of the top over the square root of the bottom. Of course, the top is just going to be 1. So it's 1 over square root of 2. And we have to do that same thing we did before. We have to get rid of that 2, square root of 2 in the denominator. So we multiply by square root of square root of 2, which just is just a fancy 1. That's going to be square root of 2 over square root of 2 squared square root of 2 over 2. So that's our x. But that's also our y. Because x equals y. So our cosine, square root of 2 over 2. The sine, square root of 2 over 2. And notice here, if x and y are equal, this should be 1. So I'm just going to write the 1 there, but I'll do it over here. y over x equals square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. So when you cross multiply, so you get square root of 2 over 2 times invert and multiply 2 over square root of 2. Those cancel, those cancel, and you get 1. So these are the angles for, for pi over 4 are 45. Now I'm going to write them on my chart. Cosine with square root of 2 over 2, sine square root of 2 over 2, tangent 1. We're almost done. Notice we have here pi over 3, which is 60 degrees. That's this angle. So that angle is 30 degrees. So we have, again, a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And we know that the short side is equal to 1 half the hypotenuse. Short side, again, is going to be across from 30 degrees. And so that's going to be this. So let's draw this triangle. Again, we want to isolate it out. This is my pi over 3, or 60 degrees. Pi over 6, or 30 degrees. So hypotenuse is 1. This is going to be 1 half h, which is just 1 half times 1. And this is going to be y. So this is going to be the same equation we did before, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, and I should write down, here I'll write it at the bottom here, cosine theta is equal to x, sine theta is y, 
and tan theta is equal to y over x. Okay, so let's go do that. So we know that, again, this circle is the unit circle. This is exactly what we did, or very similar to what we did for 30 degrees. So we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Here, let me box this off so I can keep it separate. That means we have uh, our x squared is 1 half plus y squared is equal to 1. This is going to be 1 quarter plus y is equal to 1. y is, I'm sorry, it's y squared. I dropped the square, excuse me. y squared is going to be 1 minus 1 quarter, which is 3 quarters. As before, y equals square root of 3 over 4. That's the square root of the top over the square root of the bottom. Square root of 3 on top and 2 on the bottom. So um, we get cosine is 1 half. And we get the sine is square root of 3 over 2. Now I have to figure out the tangent. And that's going to be y over x. So square root of 3 over 2 over x, which is 1 half. Invert and multiply, square root of 2 times 1 over 2. I'm sorry, times 2 over 1. You, you invert the bottom, flip the bottom, and multiply. That's a 2, not a 0. That cancels, and we get square root of 3. Okay? So I'm going to go back to my chart. And cosine was 1 half, which is what the sine of 30 was. The sine is going to be square root of 3 over 2. And then the tangent is going to be square root of 3. Okay. okay, now notice how this is opposite. Well, that makes sense because, um, you know, we're switching the roles of x and y. Okay, so the last two are the 0-degree angles and the 90-degree angle. Okay. And, again, might be confusing or weird at first. That's my unit circle, even though it doesn't look like one. It's aspirational. So here's my zero degree angles, just a straight line. Zero degrees equals a horizontal line. That's my angle theta equals zero. There's no angle. <laughs> Remember the coordinate here is one, zero, because we're in this. We know that y is equal to zero. So we get x squared plus y squared equals 1. x squared plus 0 equals 1. x is equal to plus or minus 1. That's the 1. This is the minus 1 over here. And so, again, cosine of 0 is x. Sine 0 is y. Tangent 0 is y over x. x is 1 y coordinate is 0, the tangent is going to be 0 over 1, which is 0. Okay, so I'm going to go fill this one in. We said this was 1, this was 0, and this was 0. And I want you to guess what these are going to be. Uh, actually, why don't you take a second, hit pause, try to figure out what it's going to happen here. Okay, what well, you think about that. Okay. Hopefully you hit pause and are coming back. So again, I need a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to draw my unit circle. I'll try to do a better job. That's x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. That's going to be my 90 degree angle, pi over 2. So I go to here. This coordinate here is 0, 1. The way I know that is x has to be 0. So I solve. 0 squared plus y squared equals 1. y is plus or minus 1. So this point here is 0 minus 1. This is 0, 1. And again, so the cosine of pi over 2 is equal to x, 0. Sine of pi over 2 is equal to y is equal to 1. And we're going to have something funny here. Sine of pi over 2 is y over x, 1 over 0, 
does not exist. So we don't have a sine there. I mean, a, a tangent there. So I wrote sine. Here, let me do that again. Tangent pi over 2 is equal to y over x for this point. That's 1 over 0. That does not exist. Okay, so I'm going to go fill in the chart, and we're going to get cosine is 0. It's opposite. Sine of 90 degrees pi over 2 is 1, and the tangent does not exist. Okay, so I mentioned before that when, when we look at the at the domain of the tangent function, which we will, we have to be careful not to have x over 0. So can you think of another angle that's going to have x over 0? And the one I'm thinking about, or y over 0, the one I'm thinking about is this angle right here. That's going to be pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2. That's going to be equal to y is minus 1 x is 0. So the tangent does not exist. So what we're going to see is that when the tangent is straight up or straight down, sorry, when the angle is straight up or straight down, so pi over 2, 90 degrees are multiples, um, or negative 270, I'm sorry, or 270 degrees, that when it's the, line, the angle is straight up or straight down, the tangent doesn't exist. And that's because there's, there's no x, the x coordinate is 0. Okay, so that's it for this um, video, and there'll be one more where I'm going to use these values to figure out um, values of, of similar angles that are greater than 90 degrees or less than zero. And again, I cannot impress upon you enough this chart. Um, a lot of trigonometry, when you're reading it out of a book, are taking calculus. If you know this chart, it's just going to be a lot easier. So what I would do is even though in this class you don't need to memorize things because you can always have notes for anything that you do, um, I would memorize this. And I think the best way to memorize it is to take a blank piece of paper and derive it. So for example, I'm going to go through one of these. And it, so I want to find the sine, cosine, tangent for pi over 4, which is 45 degrees. So here's what I do. I draw a triangle. I know that these two angles are the same. I know my x has to be equal y. So I say, okay, I need to solve x squared plus y squared equals 1 if x equals y. So I remember that key fact. For the 30 degree, 30, 60, 90, the key fact that I need to remember in order to derive it is going to be that the side opposite the 30 degree angle is one half the hypotenuse. That's my key fact here. The key fact here is that if pi over 4, if the angle is 40 is pi over 4, 45 degrees, I have an isosceles triangle. That's my key fact here. Okay, well, I hope I convinced you to try to do this on your own. Um, but anyway, I will see you in the next video where we use this to find other angles. Bye-bye.